are new here, welcome. And if you've been here, welcome back. And while you're here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, it is Friday. It's 12 o'clock. And right now, they are... So, okay. Let me get, let me get to it, y'all. So, it's going to be like a little car vlog, I guess, or a car chit-chat. So, just ride with me today. So... I've had I, I've had some stuff happen this week. Okay. What I'm going to tell y'all is I don't know if it was in my Valentine's video, but I was talking about I kept seeing 333. Three, three. And if you know what it means, it's like 333. Three, three. I'm going to put it right here like Google, you know, so I don't want to get nothing wrong or anything. But I just kept seeing 333. Three, three. And me and my friend, we was talking about it because she, like, me and her, one week she going through something, the next week I'm going through something. It's like me and her just been going back and forth with stuff. But it ain't nothing we can't get over, y'all. So, anyways, so, I think it, like I said, I think it was in the Valentine's video when I was talking about I was constantly seeing 333. And I was like, okay, this is the conf confirmation that I need. Basically, what my confirmation was is... I was looking to go for a new position at my job. Uh, well, not my job, but where I work. So I just kept seeing 333. And I had been contemplating for a while if I was going to make this move. And I let fear hold me back. And that's a problem. Like, I had therapy today, and that was one of the things that I told my therapist. Like, I want to stop. <clears throat> Let me turn this heat off. I want to stop letting fear run my life. Like, I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of having fear run me. So, I went, I applied for, well, I didn't apply for the position. So, when you're trying to transfer to another position, you have to fill out a form, but you have to go through your current supervisor first. So, I sent it to my supervisor, and she, like, y'all, it wasn't even probably like five minutes later, she replied back that the position has already been filled. So, I was like, dang, why is it still posted? So come find out, we already had two. We already had two people. Well, there was a position already that needed to be filled. So that's one. Come find out, two other people were leaving. They were transferring to different departments as well. So in total, it's three people. So if I would have left two, that'd have been four positions she had to fill. So I was like, okay, you know, I didn't. It's not like I didn't get the job. I didn't even get to apply for the job. So y'all, the job keeps coming up like they'll send out like every other week or maybe weekly, they'll send um, positions that are still available and this job is still listed. So I'm like, well, why is it still saying it's listed? But my supervisor's telling me it's not listed. You know, it's already been filled. So I was like, do I, should I still do this? Once again, I'm letting fear take over for me. So, but I'm, this is going to be part of the story. So. I'm going to say that was two weeks ago. So last week, you guys know, my sunroof got stuck. <laughs> yeah, that's mechanical issues, you know, and everything. Fine. To some of y'all, this may not seem like much, but to me, it is. So, you know, this is just who I am. So, this week, <laughs> I get an email, I mean, a text message from... And y'all, it's so many scams out here, I didn't know if it was legit. And it was like, basically saying, are you trying to make a purchase of like almost $700 on Walmart 8? And I was like, no. And then in card, and it had the last four digits of my card number. And I was like, any other time when I get these type of like, da -da -da, it never has my card information. But this time it did. So I was like, I still wasn't thinking about like too much. I was like, nah, you know, but I said, let me go ahead and check my account. Y'all, somebody has stole almost $2,000 out of my account. $2,000. And y'all, when, as soon as that happened, it just like clicked like, oh my God, this is true. This is true. Is it identity theft? Well, we have a protection, like, um, we pay like once a month 
basically protection if somebody's trying to use my use our identity or anything. So I was like, well, they didn't contact me. So I like directly, and um, she looked at my account and she was like, yeah, these are some fraud from what looks like fraud charges. Of course, she can't say until they get into depth with it. So I was like, oh my god, y'all, I'm. I'm like, oh my gosh, she was like, calm down, Victoria. We're gonna get everything, we're gonna get it taken care of. You know, just calm down. Y'all, this has never happened to me, so I mean, I'm scared. So she's like, we're gonna get it taken care of. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and freeze your account. So, and I asked her, I was like, well, after you know that one big purchase, because the one big purchase was like one thousand, basically one thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars or something like that. So, I was like thinking like after that, why didn't, you know, they make that? But then I was thinking like, okay, maybe you had to pay something big. And then the next charger was only like for almost um, $200. So, I was like, I guess they was realizing, okay, you maybe made a big purchase and then you're doing something not really as big. But then they caught that Walmart one that was almost for $700 and that's when they stopped it. They didn't let that order go through. So they, so as I was talking to her, she was like, it's the, the accounts, you know, that car's froze. They can't do it no more. Go ahead and cut it up. What we'll do is we can send you another one or you can um, come in here and get, come to the facility. So I was like, okay. So I had to go pick up Corey because T wasn't able to go pick her up from school yesterday. So I pick her up. And I'm like, okay, I told my supervisor what was going on. And she was like, okay, just take a longer lunch and go get your stuff situated. So I go to the bank and they tell me basically the same thing that, um, oh, I forgot to mention. It, after they sent me that text message and I didn't respond, they did call me, but I was already on the phone with um, somebody else. So she was like, they're just going to tell you the same thing. I still called them just to make sure. And she was like, yeah, they, your account's froze and everything. Basically what they told me here. So I go to the, I come to the actual building to get my card. So they're like, you know, there's nothing we can do right now besides give you a new card because the charges aren't posted. They're just pending. So I'm like, okay. She's like, I know it's frustrated. I'm sorry. But as of right now, there's nothing we can do. So y'all, I'm constantly, constantly checking my account like, Everything from yesterday that said pending has posted except those two charges. So I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? So y'all, so yesterday after I get my card, I come to the ATM just to make sure it works. Like I don't, I'm just like that. Hold on. My child, I didn't cry yesterday when it all was happening. Cause I guess my adrenaline, but it just hit me like I work so I work hard for my money. I don't go out here and just throw money here and throw money here. You know, it's two of us in the household, yes, but this is my money that I work for. You know, and time is it's it's hard out here. We don't get no kind of assistance, so. We're paying everything out of pocket. So when the little bit that I do have, you know, I want to have is my money. <laughs> so y'all, I'm at, the, and I just started thinking I'm at the, and I'm at the ATM and I'm crying. And I'm just like trying to hold it because Corey's in the back seat. And of course you can see where I'm sitting to where she says she can see me. And she, and all she, the first thing she said was mommy, let me see your face. And I was like, I'm okay, baby. She was like, are you crying mommy? And I said, you know, Corey, sometimes mommies cry. You know, it's okay for mommies to cry. I don't want my child to think that crying is to cry is an issue. Now, crying over every any little thing like you know kids kind of do. I know, but stuff like this, yeah, I, I'm crying, baby. So my baby tells me, wipe my eyes, wipe your eyes like this, mommy. It's going, and then she tells me, it's going to be okay, mommy. You're a good mommy. Y'all, when she told me that, I just broke down even more. Like, <laughs> at that time, like, kids, kids, they can do the most. Don't get me wrong. 
but I swear they come in at the right time. Like, even though T was telling me and the bank teller was telling me it's going to be okay, it hit different when my child tells me it's going to be okay. So, I'm just letting the day, really, car. I'm just letting the day go. You know, I'm just constantly checking my account. Nothing. So, I'm just like, okay, you know, you got money right now, Victoria. You guys got food in the house. You know, it's going to be okay. The whole point is, it's like, I feel like I'm going through something, something every week. Maybe the sunroof thing to y'all wasn't big. I, maybe I'm just dramatic. Maybe the position thing is not big to y'all. I'm being dramatic. Maybe, and maybe even this isn't big to y'all. I'm being dramatic. But this is just who I am. Maybe I'm just a dramatic person. But I'm getting to the point now where it's like, I'm ready to do so much more with my life. And I'm wondering if like something is, I know God doesn't test us, but I'm wondering if he's putting me in these positions to be like, you say you want to give me all your worries when I, when you should give them to me, you still worry. I'm putting you in these positions to show you, you don't have to worry, Victoria. Everything happens and it happens for a reason and I'm going to get you through it. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. Ooh, I got to sneeze, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, bless me. Sorry. So that's why I'm just thinking. So like I said to y'all, it may not seem like much and it may seem like I'm just being extra and dramatic, but this is just who I am and I feel like there's other stuff that I've been going through that I don't, you know, um, the light is green that I'm going through that I don't share because everything is not for everybody. Um, and that I feel like that's what everybody, you don't share everything with everybody. And especially not like, I'm not saying you guys are strangers, but I don't really, you know, we don't really know each other from the, the video. Never met you guys in person or anything. So, we're not saying like nothing to be mean or anything. It's just, we don't know each other really. So, we know each other from like a 10, 15 minute video type of thing. But that, that's irrelevant. There's a little bug in here. Get out. You know, dipped in there now. So, but basically what I'm saying is I feel like I'm being tested and God is like saying, well, okay, like I said, I'm not being tested. I don't want to keep saying tested because I'm not being tested because God doesn't test you. Just like, just stop worrying. You're going through this storm. And to me, this, this is kind of considered a storm. To y'all, it may not be a storm. But it's like, I go through other things, like I said, I don't tell, but this is some stuff that I'm sharing because this is my life. And I want, you know, to share some things because sometimes you guys may be going through something similar, worse, or, you know, not as, as not the same. But I just wanted to share with you guys. So basically, my information has been um, closed and everything. Come on now. So basically what this video is, guys, if you want to go and do something, just do it. Just freaking do it. Ooh, I need to go back that way. Just do it. They all have. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have went the other way. I hate pulling in people's driveways because people be wanting to do the... But, um, but no, just do it. Like, and I guess just like the YouTube when I was a fearful to do the YouTube. So basically with the whole job situation, I feel like I'm all over the place y'all. But with the job situation, when I talked to my therapist today, she said the response that I had with the, um, with my debit card type of thing, that's normal. It's fine. And you know, she told me it happened to her. I'm not going to be the last person that it happens to. And my whole thing is like, I want that person or whoever did it. I don't know where they got the information from. 
I don't know any of that. I just want you to get what's coming to you because, and I shouldn't be like that, but I, I am, and I want to get better with that too as well. Like, I work hard for my money, and you over here, and I'm looking up the stuff that they paid for. Like one of them, like something about the one that was almost like fifteen hundred was like some, like you said, fabric stuff, and then the other one, they done, one that was almost two hundred dollars. They done paid a um, Cox Internet service. I said, okay, I hope next one your stuff don't get paid. But anyways, y'all, so basically, I'm just saying, y'all, don't let fear stop y'all. When you're going through something, and if it's fear, just push through it, you know, and everything. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Like, I've been going through, like I said to y'all, it may not seem like much, and to some it may seem like, ooh, yeah, girl, you're going through it. But I've been going through it to me, in my opinion. And I just want to come in here and say it's going to get better. And I'm off today because it is Friday. Y'all know on Fridays I am off. And I want to tell y'all the schools around us, it's closed today. And y'all probably like, it ain't no holiday. What them kids close? What y'all close for? Y'all, I don't know. I guess like since <laughs> COVID came, it's like these kids, like during the pandemic, I understand. I mean, I guess we're still in a pandemic. We were going like kids couldn't go to school. I get that. I understand that. But boy, these little things get out for every little thing. So it's supposed to be like some severe like thunderstorm coming around like two o'clock. High winds are supposed to be like right now. And it is windy right now. It's not really high winds. Get out. Damn. And then you gonna pull out all slow. I guess it's not like, it's supposed to be high winds and everything. And so Corey, they're out of school right now. And so now I'm on my way to the Dollar Tree because my mom said, even though it's supposed to be within a few hours, she was like, just get y'all some like little flashlights and stuff like that. Y'all, these folks really be cruising. Like, get you some little, you know, just in case of a storm because they were saying like high winds, uh, rain, flooding, which I get like, you know, the kids will still be in school or they'll be getting out of school during the time so they went ahead and canceled school but y'all <laughs> me and my friends was talking like we really sound old because when we was in school we didn't get out of school for nothing i mean nothing these kids will get out because it's freezing outside well make sure you wear some extra layers because it's going to be cold outside school's still coming you know type of thing but anyways, y'all, I'm just rambling. Like I said, I'm gonna do a chit. I'm just doing chit chat. So I'm gonna go into the Dollar Tree. I might take y'all, or I may not, because oh, and then to top it off on everything else I'm going through, Mother Nature wanna come through. I said, girl, you picked the wrong time to come. Like, go on somewhere. But um. So I, was, I wasn't even going to come out today. I was just going to sit in the house and just chill because of this weather. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree just to see, you know, what they may have. And if they don't have anything, I mean, we have candles and stuff. And the store is supposed to last from, I think my mom said, like 12 to 5 or so. But so it may not be that dark. But I'm going to show y'all because it is starting to look dark out here. Like, this is how it's looking right now. So, we'll see. And, you know, if it does rain or anything, I'll let y'all know. Y'all see right here? Okay, y'all see that little taco place right there? I'll be wanting to try that little food truck, fruit, food truck joint, but I'll be kind of skeptical and everything. But, yeah, y'all, so... Um, tell me if y'all been through, hold on, tell me if y'all been through like any 
credit card fraud, you know, charges or anything? And what y'all do with it? Because we was told, not from the bank, but from like an outside source that we should call the police. But I'm just wondering like, what can the police do with this? But then it's like, you want them people to, you know, get charged because you stole. Like if you go to Walmart right now, and I like if I go to Walmart right now and I steal something, I could go to jail. So why can't you who stole almost two thousand dollars? And let me tell y'all, I don't have two thousand dollars like that. So mm, no. So, but if y'all been through this, let me know with some stuff that y'all did and how did y'all handle it and let me know if y'all feel like I'm just like girl what you going through ain't nothing I know been through worse and I'm not saying what other people been through you know what I'm going through ain't you know people don't have a lot more and I've had a lot more stuff going on with me too and like I said it's other stuff that I'm going through that of course I'm not you know telling all my business but y'all let me know. But I'm about to go in this Dollar Tree real quick. And ooh, all these puddles. And I'll be back. Oh, and guess y'all, it's like, so you know something's gonna happen because it's 72 degrees right now. So we know something's about to go this down, but I just pray everything goes well and nothing serious happens and we all make it through. Okay, y'all, so I am back from the Dollar Tree. Now we got, ooh. Look, Corby told me I gave her too much and I don't gave myself too much. So... I am out of the Dollar Tree. Sorry, I get. I don't know. Any other time I get a message, it just comes through. I don't know. Now it cut off. But anyways, they didn't have um, any flashlights. I guess flashlights are more than a dollar twenty-five now. But um, I got. I'm gonna show y'all what I got from another. Small a Hold on, let me. That woman looked at me like, girl, what did you do? <laughs> okay, so I got some just some lone candles. These are not to smell good or anything, just in case power goes out. We have candles, but these are just longer candles. So I got two of those. So the other one's in here. She just bagged them separately because they're glass. Um I got this foam mounting tape mounting tape so it's like what I'm going to do uh, above our sink I want like little lights and we don't have any so these little lights I got they're battery operated and they take triple A can y'all see these let me see alright so they take triple A I know we have triple A but I didn't know how many we had so I got some triple A batteries and I got these to mount up like where our sink is so we can have these to put over there and I got um one two three four I mean y'all have to see four of these little lights we needed some more shower caps And I don't feel like going to the stores like Walmart, Target, even Dollar General. I don't feel like going to any of those right now. So I just got two of these. I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see. Oh, well, it's just the Dove Sensitive. So we use Dove and all they had was the Dove Sensitive. So that's fine. So I got some Dove Sensitive. And then, y'all know I had to get them the 
gummy bears. Y'all, if y'all don't get these gummy bears, if y'all like gummies and gummy bears, go get them. And so this stuff came up to 18. So y'all, even though I'd be in there, I still be forgetting that 25 cents. Let me clean my hands again after touching that stuff. So now I'm debating because my friend, she was like, y'all want some wings. And I was like, dang, some wings do sound good right now. But I don't know. I'm going to debate if I want to pick something up or if I just want to go on home and eat what we had from yesterday, which probably that's, that's what I'm going to do. Save a coin where I can. Because right now, like I said, like I know, my money is not back. And next weekend is the start of Corey's um, spring break. And me and my friend, we're taking our kids out. And, you know, I like to have the extra money. And, of course, I have tea. And my mom was like, if y'all need help, let me know. I mean, my money is going to be back because they know I didn't spend the money. But... All right now we're good and I don't like borrowing money from nobody or anything really. But let's see what this weather's talking about real quick, y'all. All right, y'all. So look at me going down the wrong way. <laughs> so I just shut my check the weather and it's saying like it's supposed the storm is supposed to come start at one o'clock and it's 12 50 right now so go ahead buddy because you rolling up to this stop sign and ain't stopped boy these folks don't be paying attention but yes yeah, so um i'll i'll probably show y'all to let y'all see if the weather does get bad and whatnot and how everything's looking you know something's brewing because like i was saying it's february was well, march beginning of march and it's 72 degrees right now but the way they're talking about like how this wind is supposed to be like gushing of wind it's it's not really windy out here so but like i said yeah you know something is going to be brewing and everything so i don't know if i'm out if the weather does look like that i'll show y'all but i probably won't be doing much of anything else i'm going to show y'all i ordered this book off amazon i'm going to show y'all and i'm probably going to start that book today um just for the fact i don't have no other plans it feels like a freaking Saturday to me but it's not but um, I'm probably just going to start that book today and just really be like a chill day so there ain't really much I'll be doing else so if I um, do come back it'll probably be to show y'all the weather if the weather does get bad and do my book but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat it wasn't much and like I was saying if you're fearful of anything stop letting fear run your life like i'm trying to do get to that point that i want fear to stop running my life and just go for what you want to go for y'all if it's the position in your job that you want to do go for it if it's you know you want to start youtube go for it just do whatever it is that you want to do because now life is really too short to be living in fear so i just want to say that but while you guys are here again please like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy this little chit chat and until next time bye